Hello and welcome in the first tutorial of 3 minute motion graphic. I will right click, new and select a new shape layer. Once you have this shape layer, open it up and add an ellipse. Once you have an ellipse, we also want the ellipse to fill out with something. This time this will be stroke, so I'll add a stroke. Now you can see a stroke has appeared. Please open up stroke, click a stopwatch in the stroke width and start with a strong width of 100. Then you want to go forward to, for example, one second and make the width zero. This is the first value we adjust and the second value will be the scale in the transform options. Open up the transform options and in the scale, let us start with 0%. So it will be super small. And as we proceed, it will get bigger, bigger to about this amount. Now let's preview what do we have Okay, we have an animation like that. Of course, those keyframes need to be better. I want to make them really, really quick. So I'll right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Once they are easy eased, I can adjust them by clicking here on the stroke width and entering the graph editor. I can select the speed graph because I kind of like it more in this case and I'll make the speed like that. I'll do the same with the scale Let's hit the scale, let's start slower, then gain super velocity, and then again go slower. Now, what do we have currently? We have an animation like that. And this is kind of where we are headed. The last thing we want to adjust here to make kind of smoke of this will be add an effect. This effect will be roughen edges. You just click this shape pad and you double click the roughen edges. You see the edges are already a bit rougher and I would like to select spiky to make them a bit spiky. And now we can adjust those, those values. You can adjust nearly every value. For example, the edge sharpness, I definitely should up, up the sharpness so it's more smoky. And the best thing here is as it will fade, it will still release those little, little smokes around it. If you think that something is not okay with this animation, you can lower the fractal influence. The fractal influence will make it mm, perhaps more smoky. I could also stretch the width or height. This will change a little bit this animation, as you can see. Okay, let's preview. What do we have? Is it kind of smoky? It kinda is. Now we can, for example, take those frames, extend them a little bit, and this will make the animation completely different. I'll extend this by a bit, like that. And this is the animation I have. If you still think it's too quick, just pick those keyframes and place them later. Maybe something darker or going towards red, like this. Let me know if you did enjoy this tutorial. My name is Andrzej Pach and I like to teach stupid After Effects tutorials.